So, got two, son. It's a spinner like that, so you already know that the box is bulging. So, I, it's a big one. It's a big one. Let's get it out of there so it can breathe. Ugh, I mean, Tucson is bringing so many good new models, and but a lot of them are really, really big, and I think this one qualifies. This is a this is going to be a big knife. I can tell. It's one of them big frag pattern monsters of the midway type thing. Look at this thing, man. Wow. That's oily, too. Look at that thing. Come on. <laughs> ah. Yeah, it's a big one. This one's not so big. It's my nice little... Nice little slip joint, double detent, bad to the bone. Look at this thing. I mean, I already know. I already know, I already know. This is, I. you know, this may just be their attempt, the designer's attempts to say, I'm going to do work knives. Like, this is for people that carry a pocket knife for a purpose. Like, for work, you know. They're going to use it. Let's... Let's get that blade out of there. Nice jimping back here. Oh, man, that blade's why I got this knife. I mean, looking at it and it being so big, I might have passed, but that blade, there's no way I could pass on that. This is a TS-464 and 14C-28N. Another reason to get it. It's a uh, Wong design. Mm-hmm. A little stiff on the detent, but oh, the fuller works with the thumb and with the spidey flick. Yeah, I mean, digging into that lock bar already. Mm -mm -mm. Big thumb studs. Look at the size of them thumb studs. Wow. Spidey flick is pretty, pretty good. But man, there's like, there's no relief here. You just got to dig in. And the tension on that lock bar, I mean, it's it's either trying to keep things in or keep it out, one or the other. Wow. Back flipper works pretty good. But man, digging into that lock, there's no room in there. And yeah, just in the few times that I've functioned it, it's taken so much tension on my thumb pressing down that it's already got a sore spot mm -mm 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 -mm. look at this thing it is a full-size knife it's a large knife yeah whoop big choke up spot here but not at the detriment of the actual grip on the knife itself this is for, man this is for real but I got to work on that detent, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play around no more. I'm gonna get in. Yeah, TS four sixty four. Oh look, so the scales are covering the actual pivot. That's a cool design. It's amazing what I miss. The space under this pocket clip. There's good tension on it, but there's not a lot of space there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna run on the thin stuff, but the thick stuff. I'm not even sure if I can get over it. Yeah. All right. And it's not really a frag pattern, but sort of. I got to keep track of these screws. All right. Yeah, those are for the scales. This was the pocket clip. Yeah, there's a, two hidden screws underneath there. Full titanium scale. That one's hidden under there. Awesome. Ooh, that had some tension. That's an inner 
inner scale lockup screw. Looks the same as a pocket screw. Okay. Well, that is legit tight. So I'm going to pull this other scale just to make sure that I'm not fighting with something that I shouldn't be. That's the same as those two. And there's a ton of oil under here. So, I mean, everything is soaking wet with oil. Yeah, same on this side. I mean, that's where that's got to come. That's got to come off there. So we'll grab the we'll grab the nut buster to get to it. The rest of this should come apart without having to disassemble this screw here. But let me get the let me get the nut buster out. Oh, there it goes. Whew. Loctite, you think? Yeah, not not good Loctite. Oh, man, is that bunched up. Take the tension off that blade. Wowzy, wowzy, wowzy. Yeah, I'm not going to get it with that. I'm going to have to stick with this. Mm, it's not wanting to come now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's try going back. Yeah, that's not. I'm going to have to put some heat on it. I mean, that's weird, because it was loose, now it's tight. I don't know that I quite understand how that happened, because I didn't turn that screw at all. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some heat on it. All right, I'll be back in a sec. So, I won't burn a bunch of time, but I just got my solder and iron out, and... uh Got it heated up and I'm pressing down on it. I'm going to let it heat up real good. And then I'll put the soldering iron aside and I'll take another run at it with the nut buster and see if we can't get it off of there. So I'll be right back. Okay. Well, it defeated me. I could not get into this knife. And I'll be honest, I barely was able to get it back tight again. But I was. I was able to just really crunch in and get this blade back tight. I mean, I, I'm going to surrender because the only other thing I can think to do is to drill this out or grind it off, grind off that edge. I mean, I tried, I tried grabbing it with pliers. Thankfully, the scale covers it. So I thought, well, if I mar it up, who cares? I can't get in a knife. Whatever is in there, it's not wanting to give it up. Now, maybe I could get a better source of heat and really put the heat to it. I mean, I ended up being like this and heating it until I smelled it. You know, when, when I smelled it, then I tried to get after it. But it's just not having it. So... I'm going to finish the review. I'm literally just going to, I'm going to put it back together. The knife functions. Oddly enough, there's not an over travel stop on, on the, uh, the, uh, frame lock here. It's a liner lock, I guess, sort of, but it's really the frame lock, but there's not an over travel stop because the scale acts as one. So I was able to take a little tension off of this lock.
and it runs really well and it's locked back up so i man i'm unfortunately i'm gonna have to let it go um i don't want to trust me i don't want to but i'm not sure how else i can get in here um i have to think about it maybe one of y'all got an idea but man i heated it till i could smell it and whatever's in there it's I mean, I rolled off two of my, my new bits. I got my new bits out here. A whole box of them. I just keep I, I, pressing down. Had this flat down on the edge of the bench over here. Just flat. And everything I had on it trying to get it loose. And it took everything I had to get it back tight. Um, I tried rocking it back and forth just the slightest little bit, create a little play in there, but I, man, I just couldn't get it to go. So, I mean, I'm just going to accept defeat <laughs> and, and try to clean the knife up the best I can and we'll put it back together. Uh, what I am going to do is get rid of this hot iron and clean up some of these tools and stuff and then, man, we'll finish checking this thing in and, and we'll check it out. But this assembly is not going to be part of it. Okay. I mean, could I, could I use a more direct heat source? You know, uh, maybe even a mini torch, but definitely a solder iron that's got more pinpointed heat, the trigger kind that gets hotter. I, you know, surely, uh, that could make a difference and, and maybe I'll go down that road, but for, for today, I mean, after I went through with what I went through with it, I'm done. I was able, you know, at a point <laughs> I said, if I can tighten it back, I'm going to let it win today. <laughs> I'm just going to clean it up and I'm going to check the knife in and we'll check it in with a video. And part of the video is me being conquered, you know. I hope it speaks to my integrity more than it speaks to me being a quitter. Cause you know, I mean, I do control this up here. I could, <laughs> you know what I mean? I could not show it. I could, I don't know. I could say, Hey, I've already checked this knife in, but I want to, no, no, I'm going to, I'll show it. Yeah. I mean, I'll show it when I get beat and I'll show it when I win. <laughs> oh yeah it whipped me it it was more than i was interested in i'm trying to think if there's anything else i should if i should add oil to that pivot there but man this thing's running so well i think i'm just gonna leave it be i wonder if i bet you i can shake that blade out of there now no okay well you win bro whoo I know when I've taken a beating. And uh, you dished it out, homie. Uh, I think I got ahead of myself there. Yeah, this has got to go in. Hmm. Come on, man. What's up? Surely it's just the alignment on that backspacer. Maybe if I loosen this other one a little bit, I'll be able to move that around. Yeah. There it goes. But I don't think that I do more than that right there because maybe I should put this side on first and then I can tighten that, make sure I can get that pocket clip tight. Let's tighten this one back. I mean, it's, this thing's built like a tank. It really is. It's pretty impressive. Even the lanyard hole is big and bold. Mm, I guess I could just put these in. Hmm? Kind of hold everything solid. 
Yeah, ooh, I broke a sweat working on that thing. I think I've put in less muscle working on a skid steer or a tractor. You know what I mean? Like, it was giving me the business, man. Um, nice, three nice straight lines on this pocket clip, even though it's recessed into the G10 and not into the titanium, it is recessed really deep because its scale is super thick back here. Look how thick it is. And that's recessed almost halfway down into it. So as long as that stays tight, that screw doesn't come loose. It should be fine, even though... It's into the G10. I think it'll be all right. Three nice square angles, straight lines. Okay. And it is a big, chunky piece. I mean, if you use a big work knife, I mean, like, you know, back in the day when, when I was young, carrying a knife, we carried big bucks. And, I mean, you didn't carry a, nobody wanted a compact knife. If you were going to carry a knife, I mean, did I tighten that? I don't think I did, fortunately gonna have to make room get back in it just to be sure it's got me all discombobulated now man yeah it was pretty tight but not It needed to be snugged up a little bit. All right, last screw. Wow. I'm just glad I could get it back together. And no, no worse for the wear. No harm, no foul. Like you can't, you know, I definitely was able to lighten that detent. Of course, I didn't have to go through all that to do it. Yeah, nice and solid. Everything's tight on here. All right. I mean, the action on this, drop shut. The thumb stud works good. The fighty, spidey flick off of the stud works good. The spidey flick off of the fuller works good. The thumb flick off of the fuller works good. The back flipper works good. I'm pretty sure I can't fail it. I'm going to try. Nah. I mean, it wants to fail, but there's enough blade stock there that once it cracks that detent, it's going all the way. Oh, there I failed it. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely an A minus to an A action. I mean, almost the A minus is almost penalizing the knife for that Loctite, you know what I mean? Because I can't get in there. It's like, eh, I'm not going to give you an A. <laughs> that doesn't seem quite right, right? I, You know, I'm going to justify it's an A- minus only because of access to this lock bar. Yeah. Now, with lightening up the detent, it's not painful. But, boy, when I started, it was painful reaching in there because there was so much tension on it. When uh, when I got it loose and the blade was loose, this was able to move. There's The tension on this, that lock bar is way over to the other side. I mean, it is way over there. So, yeah, it's in good shape now. Uh, ergonomics. So, it is a big knife. It's wide. It's It gets awful big back here. But because of that, it's forcing you forward up into this grip. It's got this nice cutout. So, I mean, there's not so confident, confident, and very confident. And this is a very confident grip. 
this is, I mean, for all intents and purposes, this this is a legit folding combat knife. It really is. It's got excellent texture on here. Nice, good bite. This milling that's cut into there really helps you lock your hand in. The jimping on the spine is combat jimping. If you put tension down and try to run forward, you can't run past this jimping. It locks you in wherever you come in at. Uh, there's jimping on the back of the flipper tab. I mean, I'm so deep that it's almost completely over my index finger. So in order for me to, to get over this grip, I'd have to loosen my grip. I'd have to let go to come up over that blade, which is no fault of the knife. That's the wielder. Um, this reverse grip is solid. Nice cap, you know, spot for the thumb. Wonderful strong there. And even this Pakal grip, I mean, I don't know that I would ever carry this as a Pakal grip, but if I was going to hammer down and try to drill and dig in for some reason, I would want to do it with this grip versus this grip. I wouldn't want to do it this way. I would want to go this way. And this is a very confident grip here as well. The finger guard's really locking this in. So, you know, this power slam with this blade right here, mm -mm -mm. very nice. Yeah, wonderful ergonomics. I mean, just a little deduction because I was able to tune this. And I mean, since I tuned it, let's make sure, right? Yeah, I mean, it... It's 50% locked up, and almost that whole uh, frame lock is over the blade here. So it's got great lockup. I mean, this thing's going to be super powerful. I just want to make sure of something. Yeah, there's no lock rock. There's no, I mean, there's no movement in this blade at all. Wouldn't surprise me if there's not double roll bearings or something in there. I don't know. I can't answer. Somebody will have to get one and take it apart and let us know. Um, pocket clip. Yeah, let's check it out. And I mean, the combo of this blade and this handle, man, I, I really like this. Th if you took this same shape and gave me 60% of this size, I would like that too. Give me this same exact knife, a little smaller. Uh, thick stuff. Yeah. It's up, but it run out of space like I thought it was. It's a little narrow in there, but you could use it there on thick stuff if you had to. Standard jean size material, it's a home run. All the way in. Ooh, not very good tension though. Yeah. Very smooth coming out of there. Yeah, there's not a lot of tension down on that, which means there won't be a lot here. I mean, it's easy in the pocket, but if you took off running, especially with the weight of this knife, this could easily, boop, just pop right out of the pocket. So, I'm not going to put tension on it. I mean, I said I'm not. What am I at for time? Okay, I wanted to show you. I put just the slightest little bend in it, but this is why this pocket clip runs so smooth. It's because look at, look at the underside of this clip. I mean, that is just smoothed off, and it's wonderful. But I just, I need a little more tension, man, so let me put it together. Okay, what's the result? Standard size jeans right here. So, it's uh, clearly, it's a little more difficult in, but yeah, now it's it's got a grip. You have to pull it out of the pocket. I mean, I, I dare say it's a dryer clip. If If I took off running with this in that back pocket right there, I think that no matter what, look, it's still going to be right where I left it. Like all of that right there is still holding on. Yeah. So I got a nice amount of tension on it. It's nice. Uh, safety. Ooh, that was ominous, man. I was looking at that blade down in there and I was like, surely that's just going to run over my finger. But nope. Ooh, look at this tip. Come on, man. Oh, that's going to get me, isn't it? Oh, right up and over it. Wow. So close, man. I mean, I don't think that could be any closer without touching it. All right, so the clip's good. The tip's good. And I'm confident I could put it in my pocket without incidental blade contact. 
Get out of town, man. That's awesome. I wonder if this thing's sharp. Boy, I tell you, for as tall that flat grind is, I mean, it almost looks hollow ground, but I know it's not. I mean, it's super sharp, but I'm going to strop it. Okay. I mean, I just ran it normal strop stuff and made all the difference in the world. That 14C, man, this is a this may be the biggest slab of 14C that I have. Love it. Wonderful. Yeah. Stupid sharp. Hey, let's talk price and availability. These are definitely available right now, but let's talk specifics. Where can you get it and what do you got to pay for it? Okay, several current auctions running on eBay right now. Um, and then there's a couple of buy it now auctions on eBay as well through the six leaf seller. And he's got them posted at like 98 bucks for this knife and with a buy it now offer. And you know that buy it or with a uh, make an offer. So you have five shots where he's asking $98. So I don't know. Uh, there's, there's three current auctions, live auctions going for this TS, uh, 464, 14C 28N. And I mean, it's a beast. If you need a work knife, a stout, tough work knife, a serious, maybe half combat knife. I mean, it doesn't have great this, I, I, I'm not going to say it's not great. It's just, I mean, I put tension on it. It's kind of thin. I'm, I'm actually going to run it in my front pocket right now. I don't have anything in my front pocket. So I'm going to run it like I would a normal knife. Yeah. I mean, with the tension that I have on that clip now, that thing's a drier clip. Uh, wherever I put that, it's going to stay. And so lots of different grip options, and they're all powerful. I mean, this thing's rugged, man. Is it worth, you know, 95, 90 bucks, $85? I mean, 14C, sharp as a razor, combat jimping. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty cool large knife. That's what I'll tell you. Uh, in a live auction, what are you going to get one for? I don't know. You know, that's that's the magic of a live auction. Could you get it for 50 bucks or 75 bucks? Maybe. Anyways, hey, I appreciate you checking it out with me and watching, hanging out, watching me fail on the disassembly. I mean, it beat me to death. I'm not going to count it as a failure, though, because it's locked up super tight. I was able to get it back tight, and it's got drop shut action. And I was able to adjust that lock bar so it's not killing my thumb to uh, get that thing open and shut. Yeah, awesome. Appreciate you watching.